yesterday afternoon, an announcement was put out by Microsoft of a next generation of Windows. They're going to announce it on June 24th. So this is gaining some attention uh, in the technical news press. And the name Windows 11 has been bandied about, that it might be called that. And there's the question, well, when I, wait a minute, Windows 10 was supposed to be the last version of Windows. And there's a whole bunch of questions around this. And I think there's a very simple answer to this that's going to come out on June 24th. Now, I could be wrong, but this is my speculation of what's going to happen. So a client of mine also sent me an email this morning uh, about this announcement. I was, I was already aware that it was coming. Uh, and it came out yesterday. So here's a, the website from The Verge. Uh, revealing it, in their words, Microsoft to reveal its next generation of Windows, June 24th. And down here, Microsoft is planning to detail its next generation of Windows at an event later this month. Now, the question comes up right away, wait a minute, I thought Windows 10 was going to be the last version. I'm saying, yes, it is. It's still the last version, even after this. So follow with me here. Uh, I just finished watching Windows Weekly where uh, Leo Laporte and Paul Therott and Mary Jo Foley were talking about their view of it and what they think is going to happen. And part of what was coming out there is the question, is Windows 11 or is it even going to be called Windows 11? They also speculate it might just be called Windows because Microsoft has not announced it as Windows 11. I'll give you an idea of why that's kind of speculating here. And then the title for this Windows Weekly episode is Windows Goes to 11. And that's just the title of the video. It still wasn't announced by Microsoft as, as such. But anyway, they talk about the possibility of Windows 10 continuing through feature updates and security updates and a parallel version of Windows called Windows 11. Maybe the Windows 10 will be for the business environment, the large corporate environment, and Windows 11 for the for the home user type environment. And they really don't, don't know. They typically get some leaks of information from Microsoft from time to time, but they honestly don't have it now. Now, there's another piece of information. Let's see if it's back here. I think, yeah, on this, the Verge announcements, they include down here, Microsoft confirmed last month that Windows 10X, its operating system originally built for dual screen devices, will no longer ship. The company's now rolling visual elements of Windows 10X into the main version of Windows 10 instead. So they're taking some of those elements that they were, those new glitzy things they were planning for 10X and putting it into Windows 10. But now wait a minute, if they're about to come up with a separate version of Windows called Windows or Windows 11, or something else, why would they put these new features into Windows 10? That doesn't make sense until you follow along with my speculation of what's going to happen. Now, let's see, I, I talked about all that that I want to. Okay, let's go to the Microsoft tweet. And let's see, ooh, they changed, they, they got, oh, here it is. Yeah, this one, uh, Windows, uh, now they're, their time for this, when, uh, June 24th at 11 a.m. There's the number 11 again, right? Is that a clue? Is that a hint? Let's go maximize this. And, oh, that's, no, that doesn't have sound. So this is the graphic that Microsoft released in conjunction with this announcement, June 24th, 11 a.m. There's this image of uh, the, the, the light coming through the window and causing this, um, it's not a shadow, what am I going to call it? reflection on the, this floor surface here. But notice this horizontal bar is not visible on this surface down here. Okay, so doesn't that make this reflection look like the number 11? So again, we have this hint, is it 11? So what are they going to do? The idea that Microsoft might continue with Windows 10 with feature upgrades and security upgrades and the insiders program and dealing with problematic updates and then say, oh, let's do that double. Let's double that workload by having a Windows 11 and a Windows 10. And let's make all the software manufacturers have to have to be prepared for both of those versions. Let's make all the hardware manufacturers have to support both versions. That's silliness. Here's what I think is going to happen. 
I think we're going to have a Windows 10 21 H2 feature upgrade. And then in 2022, we'll have a Windows 11 21 H1 feature upgrade. It's the same operating system. It's just a feature upgrade with a different name. They said Windows 10 will be the last operating system. It's still the last operating system, just with a different name. They're wanting to put a different name on it because they're intending to make it visually significantly different. Not like Windows 8 was, but they've already told us some of the things that they planned for Windows X, and they're putting those into Windows 10 when? Well, maybe that's 22H1, and we're going to call it, by the way, Windows 11. So it's not a new operating system. You don't have to buy it. There's no separate license. It, it's, it's the same operating system, just a feature upgrade, and we're going to call it Windows 11. That gets that excitement in of something new and different without causing all of the trauma that would be involved if they actually had a second operating system. So that's what I think is going to go, uh, happen. So because this video might get viewed by more people than my normal subscribers, I'm going to let you know what I do on my channel is I help people with their computer issues during a live stream and uh, Zoom sessions so we can be face to face and remote control. So I'm here to help you with whatever your computer issues are for free, as long as you'll come on camera with me during a YouTube live stream, and I'll help you with your uh, Windows-based computer issues. So I hope this was useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Good. Uh, by the way, I hope this is right too. That'd be a kick. <laughs> Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.